Join History Victorum as we explore the grounds of the Chateau de Chambord, the largest castle in the Loire Valley that was inspired by Leonardo da Vinci, and the rooftop cityscape was inspired by Constantinople. It was in 1519 that King Francis I began the construction of the castle. Francis I had only spent 72 days in the castle during his 32-year reign. Louis XIV continued construction on the estate and continued to use it for hunting parties and entertainment. During the French Revolution, the castle was ransacked and the furniture was sold off. Relatively speaking, the castle was spared and the structure itself was not destroyed. The castle fell into a state of neglect as it was used as a warehouse, a workshop, prison, and barracks at one point. Henry, Duke of Bordeaux, in 1821 at the age of one, became the owner of the estate. He actually renounced his right to the French throne and was exiled, but he continued to make improvements on the castle. Then, in 1915, the French state took over the estate and it went into a receivership. And then in 1930, they became the official owners and compensated the Duke's heirs. When you go inside of the castle, make sure to take note of the double helix staircase. It is said to have been inspired by Leonardo da Vinci. The two spiral staircases never meet, although they provide access to each floor and lead to the roof terrace. There are about 60 rooms available to be viewed by visitors, and when the French state took over, they actually made some restorations and demolished parts of the castles to bring it back to its previous renaissance glory. As I mentioned earlier, Francis I had considered bringing the Loire River towards the castle, but instead he brought over the Cousin River, which was much closer and was much more manageable. This actually was a very marshy area, and at the time, Francis I did not plan on having a large garden here. So this area that we're walking on was actually very marshy. And it was under Louis XIV that the first major landscaping projects were undertaken and he actually ordered formal gardens in the front of the castle's facade. The project began in 1684, which consisted of the prevention of flooding, retaining walls, control of the Cousin River, as well as the gardens. It was only partially implemented. Then during the French Revolution, the gardens were not maintained due to the unrest in the country. Under the French state, in the 1970s, the gardens were updated with only the lawn remaining and the moats were refilled. In 2016, the project to replant an 18th century French garden began and that is what you see today. If you have the opportunity to go up to the rooftop terrace, make sure to see the views of the garden as well as all of the beautiful intricacies that are up there on those towers. Thank you for joining History Victorum on this visit to the Chateau du Chambord. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel.